Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to talk about how can you create model denominations in Power BI. Now, what do you actually mean by creating a model denomination? It simply means that if you have a lot of calculations in Power BI, and perhaps if you want to show all those calculations in a thousand or a million, you can actually do that. The interesting part is the user will have the ability to select which denomination he or she wants to see. So maybe if the user says thousand, all the calculations change to thousand. If the user says million, all the calculations change to million. Now, there is a very interesting automation trick that I have covered in the end of the video so stay tuned and watch the video until the end to take a look at what automation trick is that let's just get started and create some denominations in our Power BI model all right in order to build this we actually need two things the first thing that we need is a slicer and the slicer will have two or three options which is where the user can pick up a thousand a million or any other denomination the second thing that we need is that once the user picks up a particular denominations all our calculations should actually reflect that denomination in the calculation that we're performing so let's just start with the slicer before we actually do anything let's just take a look at the data and then just start constructing the model so in terms of data we have a very very simple data model here we have the invoice number just one table actually sales table invoice number date column units price and the cost right and if you multiply the units into price and then sum it up this is going to be your sales if you multiply units into cost and then sum it up this is going to be your cost so I've written two very simple measures here uh, one is for total sales and the other one is for total cost you can just take a look at that here that's a simple sum x measure price into units and for cost that's again a simple sum x measure which is again cost into units and the subtraction of these two will actually give me the profit now let's just start to create a slicer that I was talking about which is where the user will have the ability to pick up any particular denomination so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a quick table so let's just go to the data tab so that we can actually see the table that we create in the table tools let's just make a new table the table that I'm going to make I'm just going to call this as a denomination table so maybe a denom table and the formula that I'm going to use is data table right using the data table function actually I can create a table with multiple columns so let's just say that our table is going to have two columns one column will actually contain the number which we're going to divide and the other column will contain a little text value that we're going to display in the slicer so I'm just going to say that the first column is going to be called a tag and the data type of that first column is going to be a string because that's a text and the second column is going to be let's say a number and that is going to be an integer right after we specify the name of the column and the data type of the column we start to enter the data row by row by row so I'll start the curly brackets that initiates the row and in that the second curly bracket initiates the first row so I'm gonna say in the first row I'm gonna have the first value as let's say units and the number as one which is where the user can select hey I just want a one or units which is where I do not want to convert either into a thousand or a million or anything like that I just want the simple units to be displayed as they are the second input is maybe going to be let's say thousands and of course this will be 1000 and the third one is going to be let's say a million which is going to be let's say 10 raised to the power of 6 all right we first close the curly bracket that closes the table and then we close the main bracket and commit to that particular table and what we get a little denom table which is where we have units thousands and million and we have the number against which we have to perform a division now of course using this particular column I can create a slicer where the user can pick up either units thousands or millions let's just do that so on the visualization pane in the visualizations I'll pick up a slicer and drag my tag into the fields right here so right here and I have this little tag I'm just going to format this a little bit. All right, now that we have the slicer ready, which is where we have million, thousands of units, selecting the slicer will not do anything to our calculations yet because what we're missing out, we have not really captured thousand, which is 1000 as a number, and we're not yet dividing that 1000 by each of these calculations that we have. So let's just first capture the thousand which is selected and then just like let's say divide the thousand over here so I'm gonna maybe make another measure here so I'm just gonna right click on the denom table make a new measure and let's just call this measure as a denom and in the denom I'm just gonna say selected value of the denom table and I'm just gonna select the number close the bracket and the alternate result is going to be one if nothing is selected in the slicer so I now let's just make a little card right here and you can see that the denom actually shows me 1000 when 1000 is selected if I select units it shows me actually one if I select million it actually shows me one million which is 10 raised to the power six now if I actually divide the denom by total sales and total cost this is actually going to divide the entire calculation so I'm just gonna to come to total sales measure and at the end of the measure I can actually come here and put a divide sign and it can actually divide this by the denom measure that I have created 
And as soon as I press enter, what this is going to do is this is going to divide that total sales by the denom measure. So this is actually 12 million in sales and that's what we get to see here. And if I change that in thousand, I can actually see that my sales is now showing up in thousands. If I actually change that to units, I can see that my sales is showing up in units. And similarly, I can actually divide my total cost as well and my profit is going to show up correctly. All right, now let's just say that in the model that I have just created, there are like hundreds of measures against which I have to divide the denom. Ideally speaking, this little thing that I have done of creating the denom should actually be done at the start of creating the model and as and when I'm writing the measures, I should subsequently divide each and every measure by the denom and that is going to result in the calculation. But let's just say that for some reason, I did this in the end of the model or I overtook the model from somebody and then I have to kind of do this to all the calculations performed in the model. Now the pain point is that I have to actually go and pick up every single calculation and in the end of the calculation I have to come back and you know maybe just write a divide sign and then use the denom right here that is going to be a very very painful job to do because there can be like hundreds of measures in my in my data model and that will be a lot of manual tasks to do we're going to actually automate that using tabular editor in our external tools if you don't know what this tabular editor and the external tools and stuff like that I'm just going to link a couple of videos for you to take a look at uh, how to activate the external tools and the tabular editor and things like that and you can actually take a look at this but if you've updated your power bi to the latest version released in august most likely you should have tabular editor if installed and you should see the external tools as well so let's just take a look at how do we actually take all the measures and divide them by the denom automatically in just one go so for now I'm actually going to cancel the denom that I have placed manually in both my cost and my sales calculation so I'm just going to come here and delete that of course and I'm just going to also come to my sales and I'm also going to delete that from here now so far in my model what I have done is I have made this denom table I have created the denom measure which is named as denom and then now my job is to automate the task of dividing each and every calculation by the denom measure but using the external tools called tabular editor by writing a small script over there so let's just take a look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up tabular editor which is there in the external tools and this is where at my tabular editor lies I can just click on that and this is going to open up the instance of tabular editor now over here what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go to the tables here and pick up any table that I want and over here in the advanced scripting I'm just going to write a C sharp script right now I am personally learning C sharp scripts as of now and this is the first script that I've written myself and uh, it's, it's working so maybe you can just take a look at that but if you have a better way of doing that please do let me know as well so I'm just going to open up my editor and I'm just going to copy that script from here that I've written right here and I'm just going to maybe paste that in the tabular editor all right if I have to explain you the script real quick all that I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to maybe go through all the measures that I'm selecting right so this dividing of the denominator is not definitely applied to all the measures in the data model it will certainly not be applied to profit because profit is the derivation of total sales and total cost so I don't need to apply to the profit and there can be more calculations in the model on which you do not want to apply this divide of the denom calculation so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to only uh, run this little script on only the measures that I will actually select in tabular editor that's my first part so I can see that I've declared a small variable here M and I'm only trying to run the script for the selected measures then I'm actually performing two calculations here the first calculation is that the expression which is the formula should actually be divided by the denom and the way that you write denom should actually match here that's part number one and then I'm also converting the entire calculation into a comma separated and one decimal form format right that's a little operation that I'm doing once the script that I have copy pasted I'm just pasting the script right here all that I have to do is I actually have to come here and actually have to select my total sales measure and total cost measure using the control key once I have selected that and pasted my script here I just have to run my script and just maybe do a play here just takes a while and you can see that against the measure we have a question mark and question mark that simply means that tabular editor has done the scripting here but it hasn't copied the effect of that scripting back to power bi all that i will do is maybe perhaps save this control s to save it 
And once I save this, if I just go back and take a look at my model, this has actually converted the entire calculation into millions and both in my cost, I can see that I have a divide by denom and total sales, I have a divide by denom as well. Now we also applied a, like a one decimal place in a comma separator as well. So let's just take a look at if that has happened or not. So maybe I can just convert that into a thousand. Let's just see if that has happened. You can see that we also have a comma. If I convert that into units, we again have that. The divide is still there and that's how it works. So these are nice little scripts that you can actually write in tabular editor to perform bulk operations on your measures to kind of uh, automate a lot of tasks uh, that you would want to do with multiple measures in the end. Let me know how did you find it. This was my first instance of working with Tableau Editor, especially the scripting part of it. I hope you like this one. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please feel free to put them down in the comments. I'll be happy to reply. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.